How does the civil rights law that prohibits workplace discrimination apply to claims of sexual harassment and hostile workplace environment? The United States Supreme Court considered that question in Meritor Savings Bank v. Vinson. In 1974, Sidney Taylor, a Meritor vice president, hired 19-year-old Michelle Vinson as a bank teller trainee. Over the course of four years, she advanced to teller, head teller, and assistant branch manager. In September of 1978, Vinson notified Taylor that she was taking sick leave for an undetermined period. On November 1, 1978, the bank fired Vinson for excessive absence. Vinson sued in federal court, alleging that Taylor harassed her and created a hostile workplace environment in violation of Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. At trial, Vinson testified that shortly after she started working at the bank, Taylor invited her to dinner. There, Taylor suggested that they go to a motel and have sexual relations. Vinson initially resisted, but fearing for her job, she eventually agreed. Thereafter, Taylor repeatedly demanded sexual favors from Vinson during and after business hours. Vinson testified that Taylor fondled her in front of other employees, exposed himself to her, and forcibly raped her several times. Vinson testified that she was so afraid of Taylor that she didn't report his harassment to his superiors. Taylor denied Vinson's allegations and denied that they'd had any sexual contact of any kind. He testified that her accusations resulted from a business dispute. Meritor asserted that it had no notice of Taylor's alleged conduct, and therefore, even if Vinson's allegations were true, Meritor wasn't liable for Taylor's misdeeds. The district court didn't resolve the conflicting testimony regarding Vinson's allegations. It ruled that if Vinson and Taylor engaged in sexual relations, it was voluntary, having nothing to do with her employment. The court concluded that because Vinson didn't suffer any pay disparity or other economic injury, Vinson wasn't a victim of sexual harassment or discrimination. The D.C. Circuit reversed, and the Supreme Court granted cert.